with what you're seeing in the background right now, um, you're seeing just some snippets of really like all of the energy um, and every topic that was introduced over these two weeks. Uh, we have really enjoyed getting to know uh, the campers. The energy level, I have to say, has been infectious. Um, it gave me more energy over this two weeks. Um, within the 10 days of camp, though, we covered a lot of ground pretty quickly. I think your campers can attest to that. Um, and our goal was really to show everybody, just give them a kind of some nibbles and a buffet of the many, many things that architects do and that architecture students study. Um, and so even though these two weeks have gone incredibly fast, uh, the goal is that today is not the last day of camp, but it's really you know the beginning of a lot of new things for everybody here. So we're really thrilled to share it with you today. Um, and I'm gonna turn it to Kristen to give us uh, some facts and figures from this last two weeks. Yep, so we're going to start off just by sharing camp by the numbers. Um, so we are excited that this year's program, we had 53 campers from 14 different states around the country, two of which actually participated from other countries. Uh, we have 14 staff uh, participating over 10 days, officially 10 days. There's a lot of work that's gone on. Uh, utilizing nine platforms and softwares, including Google Classroom, Zoom, GatherTown, Miro, Rhino, SketchUp, Minecraft, Tinkercad, and Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, we've had six studio groups, 12 different workshops, uh, been participating from five different time zones around the world, explored two firm visits, and we had over 64 hours of programming. Um, and along with all of that, we've had too many Zoom links, pets, rounds of Pictionary and ideas to count along the way. So we hope that gives you just a little bit of sense of how much we've packed into these two weeks. And Julia is going to highlight what the rest of this afternoon is going to look like. Yeah, so what we'd like to do with the next um, hour and a half or so is to spotlight, eat, spotlight each studio group. So each studio um, instructor has put together a wonderful video of kind of what happened in their studio. Uh, those will be spread out over, over the afternoon. Um, also introduce everyone who made this experience possible as a really did take a village and highlight some of the arcs art projects and workshops that happened. And of course also acknowledge and celebrate each one of the campers and, and really sort of understand and, and celebrate again, like the connections and the work that they have done this year. Um, so I'm assuming the chat just continues to be chatty like it always is. So keep chatting you guys. Um, but I think we're ready to start with our first spotlight videos. Uh, um, so we're going to go just like we do in Gather Town. We're going to follow follow the leader and head over to the first set of videos. Rhino in the workshop and in class, 
And I also like seeing the different profi- uh, portfolios of the teachers. the digital stuff that we've been doing so I really like working with Photoshop and doing like the collages and stuff and I also am having a lot of fun doing like this project on Rhino and kind of like doing that digitally so I think that's really fun too. I enjoy the um the instructor's portfolios. I really like the different things they sketched and yeah. Um, I also like working in Rhino and planning, like with the shapes and stuff. I really like what we're doing now because we're using like everything that we learned like this week and last week and like kind of putting it all together and I really like that seeing how it turns out so. I really enjoyed getting to learn about elevation and like the planning and stuff and like at least said like putting it all together is really exciting but I also really enjoyed getting to like meet a bunch of people who also have like this idea that they really enjoy architecture as well because there's no one I know from my school or from my friend group that have done this so getting to see everyone's style and then their passion for this as well is really exciting. But I also really enjoy what we're doing right now, which is like making the physical models, because that's like one of the main things I was looking forward to. Um, and I also really enjoyed listening to all the studio instructors' stories, just because like they all have vastly different like different experiences with architecture, and it was nice to see like that it's not just like a smooth process, and everyone has it different. I like the the games for one. Um, (laughs) The sketching and the three D modeling. So I think for me it's been a tie. It's a tie between the like evening Rhino workshops and then the project we're working on right now. Because for the Rhino stuff, I've never worked in an AutoCAD before, and I'm really liking it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then for this, um, like building that we're doing, this stuff's right up my alley. So yeah. So this is what I'm working on. This is going to be a restaurant and these 
arches is like kind of a walkway to enter into the elevator. The restaurant and dining area will be up here. And I wanted it to kind of incorporate like nature as well. So right here where these like two triangles are, I'm gonna have like two living walls. I tried my best with like printer paper and it was kind of hard to stand them up. For me, I got inspired by, um, what's that place in Miami? I keep forgetting, I go to the design district, yeah. It's not like there's like this one place where it's like crazy and everyone's there and there's other places where it's like not so much going on. But it's like when you walk, it's just like an open space with a bunch of like shops. I, I don't know mm -hmm. if you've been there, but it's also really like modern, you know, it's white. There's also some wood textures in there. So that really inspired um, this piece. Okay, so my favorite project I've done during camp is the recent one, which was the Rhino programming. And I created a bunny house. Um, like when I was designing this, I wanted to combine, combine nature, animals, and architecture. So I was really happy I was able to do that. I, I like more like doing residential stuff and that's the stuff that I did in school when like my teacher was like, pick any project you want and design it. But like I decided to go like a different route because I've never really done it before. Being able to like make my own decisions on like what program I wanted to be and like how I would want it to like interact with like the rest of the environment. I just thought I just thought it was cool to be in architecture school because being the fact that we're in architecture class. What my interests are is incorporating like greenery and like nature into buildings. I think the technical term is like biophilic architecture, but that's like what I'm interested in. I'd also recently gone to like the Nichols Arboretum and the Botanical Gardens at University of Michigan campus, which is where I think I drew most of my, most of my inspiration from. Um, so after camp, I hope to like revisit this project and become better at Rhino and 3D modeling so I can create a proper render of my building. Okay, so my idea for this was originally going to be a kiosk, um, just because I like the name kiosk. Um, you know, just be a kind of a small roadside attraction. One of those sort of places where they have the plants inside. You know what I mean? Where they have like the birds and the plants. The reason that I'm very excited about attending ArcStart uh, is because I've, uh, I've always had some sort of designer inside of me and uh, I'm excited at any opportunity where I can go and, and learn something. That one idea is that someone took their house and turned it into like a animal sanctuary kind of for like more exotic animals so it's kind of that's kind of like the theme so it's very modern and during this um session of like art start it's actually been very eye-opening to me because i've always like had an eye for architecture and being able to like interact with it and be able to like do things like sketch up and like see it come to life is like really cool and I, I definitely want to experiment more with it. Okay, so this is my building. It is a mixed use uh, commercial slash residential slash uh, uh, high rise. I meant it to have some little bit of texture. This blue stuff is meant to be glass where you need to see something beyond the building. Um, so that is what uh, that is what this little opening is right here. Um, overall in Arc, Arc Start, um, it was really cool to learn um, Rhino and be able to learn a new software and into how to be prepared for architecture school and how to be prepared for um, being a professional licensed architect. So that was, that was my experience at Arc Start.
Thank you guys for all the great feedback about our studio updates. It was great to see all of our campers or as we'll now call them Samayas. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to highlight all of the many people that helped to make this experience possible. So of course, none of this could come together without the amazing involvement of our director, Julia, um, but she and I wanted to highlight everyone else. So we had a really great team of student filmmakers that are all Taubman College graduate students or uh, recent alumni who just graduated. So Tom, Maitri, Anmol, Tori, and Prescott, thank you so much for creating our videos and allowing us to kick off each day learning some new skills and understanding um, the experience at an architecture school and the different ways that you can start imagining different things and really putting your own perspective on them. We also had a pair of student technical assistants who are Taubman College students. Um, John and Alex have kept us moving and making sure that all of the behind the scenes things are coming together um, and that we all know where we're going next at each hour of the day. And so their uh, involvement has been instrumental in keeping us on track. We would be absolutely nowhere uh, without our studio instructors. So you just got to meet two of them a little bit um, and their groups, but you'll get to meet the other four shortly. So Ray, Celia, Olivia, Tori, Prescott, and Victoria, thank you so, so much for being part of this process and doing everything you did to make this a fantastic experience for our campers. Um, sorry, I'm in charge of admitting people and there's someone new. Um, we also, um, throughout the time, uh, had some special guests during our program. So we would like to acknowledge the staff at Arc Design, which is a firm in Indianapolis who allowed us to come and visit and hear from them about their backgrounds and the work that they do. Uh, so Lindsay, Michelle, Ross, Rick, Brandon and Carrie, thank you so, so much for spending the afternoon with us. And a special shout out and go blue to Brandon, who's a recent Taubman College alumnus. Oh, and then- thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, and then Charlie uh, is one of our Arc Start alumni from 2019, and she was so um, willing to join us this morning and talk about her experience of doing Arc Start two years ago, as well as transitioning to be a current Taubman College student herself. And so uh, she was really open to sharing with us her portfolio, and I know that was really exciting um, to help all of our campers understand, you know, what it looks like for someone that's really close to their timing and their experience in transitioning to college and to architecture school. And then finally, a lot of the logistics in the background would not be possible without our colleagues at Taubman College. So we just want to acknowledge um, some of our administrators that in particular were advocates and champions for this program happening this year and being in a virtual format for the first time ever. Um, so Dean Massey, McLean, Retha, thank you so much um, for you know, pushing us to continue having the program and allowing us to explore what it could look like in this format. Um, John McMurrow helped us with his uh, film production expertise and assisted with the um, student filmmakers and the other short videos that you guys had every morning. Um, obviously, Christopher, who um, did an amazing admissions presentation to us just a few hours ago um, and is happy to continue being a resource to you all. Um, some behind the scenes people. So CJ in the media center, some of you may have met him if you came in and picked up your supplies. Um, and those of you that didn't have a chance to come to the building also know that he is the one who managed uh, mailing all of your supplies to you. So um, thankful to him, we all had the tools we needed. Um, Oliver set up all of our Zoom rooms for us and made sure we had everything we needed for that. Um, Earl and Megan in our business office approved our budget to, that allowed us to get moving. Uh, Kiana helped us hire our staff, and Bill is also our IT guru at the college, so he makes sure we know everything that's happening and made sure you all had access to Creative Cloud and Rhino and all those various things. We may have sent you the links, but Bill was the one making sure we sent you to the right place. Um, and then finally, I definitely want to take a second to acknowledge Ashan. He is actually in the background right now, and I don't know how many of our campers have been introduced to him, but this really cool show that we're having, the format and the fact that I'm floating in your screen right now, um, is all things to Ish thanks to Ishan. So uh, thank you for all your hard work in making us seem so much cooler than we are. And with that, I think we'll go to our next studio spotlight.
Hi everyone, I'm Prescott Trudeau, the studio instructor for the Nieces and Nephews Studio. Very excited to share our campers' work from the Arc Start program. You're going to see two projects from each camper. Uh, the first one is our week one project. The students randomly selected a light fixture, drew the plan and elevation of it, and then used component parts of it in order to craft their own elevations and section drawings. In week two, uh, the campers designed their own house through a process of volumetric subtraction, and you'll see images from their 3D paper massing models, as well as the final axonometric drawings that they did of the buildings. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. That was amazing. Obviously, I when in talking about connecting, uh, which we felt like we were always connecting to a different um, platform, but also finding ways to connect to each other. I feel like I don't have to say much about the fact that everybody seems to have connected pretty well here. Um, and just to give you guys a sense of, of sort of how we spent the two weeks, we would gather most mornings in Gather Town um, and, and share sort of um, stories about the day before the, or the night before. Um, but one of the other things, and I think you heard reference to this in some of the camper um, comments, uh, is that we also got to 
you know, a different staff member every morning, uh, which proved to be just an incredibly um, wonderful campfire time uh, where we heard from each of our instructors and technical assistants um, and really found out that there is no one way to go about uh, deciding to study architecture or to become an architect. And maybe just to speak to some of the uh, parents and campers who were at the admissions meeting earlier this afternoon, um, and you hear about all the tracks, I think we have all the different, every possible permutation of ways to uh, get into the architecture program uh, here at, at Talman College, whether undergraduate or graduate program. And so um, it was really inspiring to hear each of our staff member stories, um, and they shared very willingly and graciously their own experiences, their own work. Uh, we're very candid about work that they were, um, where they were working through different things that they weren't quite sure of. We even see Ray as a small child. So um, it was an incredible moment to get to know everybody. Um, and I'm not sure what the next slide is. In addition to that, uh, we did, we were able to visit yesterday uh, the firm Arc Design in Indianapolis. Um, and to ask them very specific questions that they answer very carefully. And then this morning we were uh, joined by Charlie Glick, who's um, ArcStart alum from two years ago um, and also a current, um, just finished her freshman year here in Common College. Um, and then of course the workshops. And I feel like this slide, I'm sorry, it doesn't include our other staff, but this slide sort of shows again how every single staff member here has gone above and beyond. Um, and clearly they have uh, given everything uh, to this program this summer to um, making the videos, to running the technical uh, things, to teaching not only the studios, but then offering these additional workshops um, in the evenings. Um, and so I just want to thank all of the staff for being such uh, incredible um, teachers and um, creators and role models. It's been quite a pleasure to work with all of you. I think we're ready for the next. Oh, wait, hold on. Prescott, can you name the country and decade of the music you were playing? Did you say it already? I'll pop it in the chat. It's uh, thank you. <laughs> email, email. Ah, sweet. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm Prescott, I'm Trudeau, Prescott the Trudeau, the Hi, I'm Celia, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about our section, the T-Squares. Our group started the first week by choosing objects that were either personally important or formally interesting for each of the campers. The campers then worked with the objects in elevation before moving on to section. They turned these objects into small buildings using the architectural scale and chose programs for the buildings which matched their shapes and interests. In the second week, we moved into three-dimensional form designing a house using the modeling program Rhino, which was made to suit the needs of a human and a non-human animal, otherwise known as a pet. In this short video, you will hear from the members of the T-Squares as they explain the project they are most proud of, a fun activity from camp, and what they plan to do in the future. I enjoyed doing the one-on-one -on -one time with students and teachers. I thought it was very informative to get such a wide range of opinions from everybody and I also really enjoyed all the group activities we did as well as the wide range of projects whether it be 3D modeling or sculpting by hand with a paper. Something I enjoyed learning was learning how to scale because before that I would just draw like with no scale and it didn't really make sense most of the time but I knew what I was drawing but other people didn't really know and then something else I really enjoyed learning was when the different counselors counselors like explain their life so far um it showed me like different paths I could take and I really enjoyed that because I after I listened to that I actually changed like what I wanted to do so Myrna couldn't be here because she's traveling today but Myrna participated actively in class volunteering to present and helping our section with Pictionary she persisted learning in Rhino through computer troubles and power outages and also persisted through being in a totally different time zone than the rest of the students I'm really happy with the work that she completed for this camp. Something that I really enjoy learning was using Rhino, like 3D modeling as a way to you know, create buildings and uh, cross sections of different things that I've created. I've used uh, 3D modeling software before, but using it to design like, buildings and for architecture was really something new and something exciting for me to learn. 
one thing that I thought was fun was, you know, the games that we would play sometimes at the end of each class. I thought they were pretty engaging, especially with uh, a group of artists. So my favorite thing to do was also where we took the object and had to do the section um, plans for that. Uh, that was especially challenging for me because of the shell. So that was a fun challenge. For future plans, I definitely am going to apply to an architecture school. Uh, something I'm most proud of, um, I would say the elevations. I was really pleased with how that came out and I wanted to work a little more on that later on after the program. And my future plans for architecture after this program, I'm definitely going to be working a lot more in Rhino on doing 3D models. Um, my, I think my school does have like a 3D modeling type of class, but it's um, more physical. So I will be trying to do that. I liked making that composition and learning more about the differences between sections and plans and all of the aspects that go into each in drawing. Um, I think I was really happy playing Pictionary and the competition was a lot of fun. And then something in the future, um, I hope that I can become a little bit more tech savvy with Rhino. I want to keep on learning all of its functions so that I can use it for further application. Something I had fun with was the project from last week with the, um, like where we got to choose the program and then put it into the shape, I mean the objects shape that we chose. Um, I had fun doing that because personally, I'm more of a fan of like geometric shapes, so more like straight lines and things like that. But it was fun to experiment with the Polaroid, which was mainly all curved and the way the dimensions were um, made it pretty challenging to fit the program I wanted inside the shape but it turned out better than I expected. So something that I enjoyed um, was I think definitely the first section and plan drawing thing we did with um, taking the object and then just um, going off of that to build our building. And then I think my favorite thing um, and one of the most important things that I, I learned was the plan and section drawings. And I think that was really important because uh, I hadn't learned that before, despite doing an architecture class, they never taught us that. Oh, hey again. I just wanted to say thank you to all of my campers for all of your hard work. I want to say that I enjoyed working with you guys. You know what time it is. friends and family, and welcome to Arc Start. I would like to introduce you to the studio known as The Lovely Dumplings. We are a group of nine incredible campers, Abdul, Dohi, Chris, Lola, Alexandra, Karen, Anar, Jagan, and Genesis, and I'm the instructor, Olivia. We've learned played Pictionary, and worked. Um, I'm really excited to uh, just just start sketching um, and just start um, relaying and putting my ideas on paper. The favorite part would have to be meeting all these, all these other kids who are interested in the same sort of things I am. Uh, I think it's really amazing to see all this creativity come to life in so many different ways. I think my favorite thing that I've learned uh, about ArcStart is actually the part where we did um, sectioning or hoaching. 
I really like that because you would actually see your object cut in half and you would actually see like where it's cut and it was it was just amazing. I, I really love this opportunity. I'm most excited about like starting my architecture education and learning more of the technical and you know mathy side of everything and um, yeah. So I think my favorite part was just generally like learning about architecture and like what architects do and just seeing like the variety in architecture because I'm really interested in design and I didn't know like how much math it would be and just like how technical. So I think just learning about it and um, really seeing like what a career in architecture looks like. Uh, so my favorite thing that I've learned from ArcStar would probably be the 3D modeling that we've done, just because it's really cool to kind of uh, measure out your own work and then put it all together and like see it right in front of you, this full cohesive work. So uh, I think that would actually be my favorite thing. I also like the like using Rhino, like using Digital Lab, that we can actually make model in like like online vir virtually. And I think it was really cool, but also challenging. I guess now that I've gone to ArcStar, um, I mean, I'm starting to, I'm understanding more about what architecture is all about. I think uh, what I'm most excited for now that I've done this is seeing what other opportunities there are for me out there um, and also like expanding my knowledge and education uh, in this field. I feel like um, a lot more prepared to like start a portfolio because I know I was like really concerned about that, but we had a chance to see all the instructors' portfolios and like, ways we can approach it. Um, I think I'm just excited for like taking what we've learned and like applying it like when I go back to school um, because I really like CAD and also like we have an engineering lab so I'm really excited to um, like create projects and like build my portfolio um, using like what I have. So I think ArcStart has really like sparked my or forwarded my desire to, to be an interior designer and just further my education and it's really gotten me excited to start all these projects and to continue with the ideas that I have in my head and not be scared to go forward with them and continue doing and making. The reason why I wanted to do this program was because I had a lot of ideas or for buildings or a lot of ideas for um, ways to change things. <laughs> um, and I wanted a way to really show that in a more serious manner than just saying I have an idea. These resources that I've gotten, they're very insightful and um, I don't feel as anxious to start because I've started. Thank you to all of the campers for such an incredible two weeks. I'm so proud of the atmosphere you all have fostered together the work that each one of you has done, and all that you all have learned. Thank you for such a wonderful experience. That's a lot that you've all managed to learn and absorb in the past nine days. So I just want you to all to know that I'm really proud of each of you. You've all done really great work and I've been so impressed. Thank you so much, everybody. Those were amazing videos. And I think, um, as Kristen said, the final video brought all the feels. So I think we're like, it's a good way to just like, <laughs> we hyped it up at the beginning with Tori's high energy video, you know, like calming down. So we're gonna switch um, gears into um, our actual <laughs> graduation ceremony and we'll be sort of a little bit more in real life. Um, and what we're gonna do is allow each of the instructors to, um, basically sort of be together on the screen with their campers and um, present them, I guess, their graduation um, words um, and best wishes. And so we'll, we'll begin with Celia Studio, um, the team squares. And um, if we could ask for those um, campers to turn their cameras on so that you'll come up to the, um, the most prominent part of the screen together, that would be fantastic. And um, I'm gonna let Celia take it away. Hi. Um, so welcome Team Squares. Am I allowed to share? Yes. Okay, so I wanted to present my awards for each of my um, loyal Team Squares. 
Um, and each of you will be getting a golden team square today. Um, because I think it's appropriate that we have everything in gold um, for all of our work. So the first award goes to Aaron, um, and I'm giving Aaron the Spiral Staircase Award um, for the extremely difficult spiral staircase that he drew in his very first section drawing. Um, I think it really pushed a lot of people on in the section to draw spiral staircases later, um, and I appreciate that extra mile. Next award is for Adam. Um, Adam, I'm giving you the Sections and Structure Award. Um, I like how much you considered all of the different um, structures of each of your buildings and the number of sections that you drew for your final project was truly amazing. Um, so all of the props for that. Next camper is Amy. I wanted to give you the Research Award, uh, both for researching your panda habitat so well uh, but also all of the research that you did on the first project. Um, all of your insights have been really great throughout the section. Christina, I'm giving you the Stupendous Section Award. I do know that I have two section awards on here, but I thought they were both really great sections, so I thought I would give two. Uh, because of your beautiful multi-level Arctic fox slash human habitat uh, that I felt like deserved a special call out. Grace, um, I'm giving you the environmental award um, for including catchment barrels and always be thinking about the environment uh, in the work that you did um, from the very first day. Leah, I'm giving you the challenge award. I think every single time I said, this is a challenge. I'm not sure if you want to do this. You always said yes, and then you did it which I think ended up with great results. And so I hope as you go into the future that you continue challenging um, yourself in all that you do. Mirna, I think I've already said this to you. I'm not sure if you're in the room right now, but if not, I'm speaking to you across time. I'm giving you the Persistence Award. Um, you had one of the most difficult situations, both in terms of time zone and power, and um, computers that didn't function, um, and the fact that you always stayed positive and stayed ready to think about um, the problems was always really great and I appreciated it. Nick, I'm giving you the investigative, investigative award. I think if I was ever wondering about whether or not somebody had a question, you would always come right up there with the question. Um, and I think that that speaks to a curious mind and I think you should never ever stop investigating. Taylor, I'm giving you the Outside of the Box Award. Um, I love that you always brought your own particular spin to the assignments, coloring things, making things bigger, changing the scale, adding parrots. Um, I think that you bring a lot of fun and thought to all of your projects. And I think... One sec, I'm checking. Yes. Um, and those are all the awards uh, from my campers. And I wanted to say thank you again so much for being with me in section. You guys have learned so much over the course of the week. And I'm really excited to see all the work that you do in the future. Um, I'm going to welcome Olivia next. Um, so welcome, Olivia. Thanks, Celia. OK, I'm going to uh, go through the set of awards for the lovely dumplings and then don't worry, I'll be sure to send these to you via email as well so that you have your own copy of your awards. And I would just like to say ahead of time that I did have some of the campers help me out with some of these awards. Um, so everybody submitted their own ideas. So we've got a very interesting compilation of, of words and awards here. So Abdul is the positive dumpling who is the most active in the chat. Um, you can always count on Abdul to have something to say and to really be bringing the positive energy every day, which is really great to have him around. Alexandra is the college application ready dumpling who smiles a lot. She's always got a really great big smile on in our studio. And as you can see, we've got a gold dumpling here. We don't have gold T-squares, but we do have a gold dumpling. 
Um, Chris is the psychic Pictionary hype dumpling. He always knows how to hype the hype uh, the group up and get everybody really excited. And he's also really great at guessing Pictionary words. Dohi is the YouTube watching calm and collected dumpling. So one of her hobbies is to um, just kind of relax and watch some YouTube. And she really just keeps everything together um, and is very calm and, and composed at all times. Genesis is the dumpling with the thoughtful, in-depth answers to all the questions. So if you ask Genesis a question, you know that she's going to think very carefully through the answer and, and come up with an answer that maybe you wouldn't have thought of and, and give you a new perspective. Jagan is the master Minecraft banana milk drinking dumpling. Uh, Jagan modeled everybody's section designs in Minecraft from our studio section. Um, you can see in the background here, one of his, or the, the model of his section design. Um, and yeah, he also drinks banana milk sometimes during studio time. Karen is the Discord distributor dumpling with a super cool haircut. Uh, she got a haircut in the middle of uh, the of arc start, so um, we all acknowledge that the haircut is really neat and it looks great. And she definitely is always um, promoting Discord in the chat. So. Just for Karen, if you haven't yet joined the Discord, be sure to join the Discord. I'm sure she can drop it in the chat. Lola is the reasonable cross-country running dumpling. She's always got a, a um, very logical uh, uh, thought to bring to the conversation. And she's definitely a runner, as you can see from her scale figure. And Manar is the portfolio ready, type silly things in the chat and Pictionary dumpling. Um, so during Pictionary, Manar will, will type something in the, in the guess uh, box that isn't even necessarily a guess, but it allows everybody to have a giggle. And then um, the lovely dumplings as a whole are the lo-fi uh, beats because we listen to lo-fi beats during our studio every day while we're working and the Pictionary Champs of camp. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pass off the mic to Prescott. Hi, yes, let me get my screen situated real quick. All right, um, so uh, our group, uh, right in, in, instead of medals, uh, we came up with nicknames uh, that sort of reflected our, our camp experience. And it was a collaborative effort between uh, other uh, campers and myself. So I will now uh, present your new Arc Start nicknames. All right, so first up, we have Anya, already pulling all-nighters thing. Next up, Eleanor, I know how to make a rainbow cloud lamp into a building, Rob. Hector, I just want to draw. Can I please just keep drawing? Nolet Patulski. Julianne. Julianne deserves a Rhino tutorial redo from Prescott. Quickly. Lucy, I'm working in my RV today. Ashmore. Lucas, fastest drawer on the planet. Brown. Maggie, I got this, guys. Gotlin. 
Misk, the most awesomest sky bridges known to men, Alduami. And Spencer, our drawing battle MVP spray. So congratulations to all of you, amazing work. Um, it was a, a true pleasure to be your studio instructor. So thank you. And forgive me, I am now going to pass it off to Ray and the Stingrays. Are you able to hear me? Sweet, awesome. So here are the superlatives for the Stingrays. I, uh, hit in the video as well. I always have the nine little stingrays following me and sort of in my path, but we have Ida or Ada Amir. So most likely to design the first luxurious Ritz cracker times Ritz Carlton resort. You always bring sort of the, with the conversation, the luxury of my, Miami design and sort of like the high end, which I grew to know when I lived down there. And I think you could bring the fun and the luxury to the Ritz Cracker. We have Layla Saperstein, most likely to design the first Heinz Ketchup Water Park Resort. I can't believe you picked a ketchup bottle due to section cut. It was um, one of the weirdest ones, but definitely one of the best ones in terms of like the most bizarre sort of character of the bottle. And I always challenge you to think of that sort of bizarre character in your work. Rebecca Diaz, most likely to get hired by a zoo to teach them your rhino skills. So I think yesterday you went like above and beyond from not wanting to work with rhino to pretty much modeling a full unique form of a primitive that wasn't standard and then texturing it within a matter of a short time, which was quite incredible. Nay Sklar, most likely to design the next matrix. Your virtual background never seemed to work throughout the whole camp, and I hope that that works someday. But if not, I um, expect to see you on my TV screen at some point. Daniel Yang, most likely to design the next Tesla mega project on a national scale. You chose a tank as your first section cut and then somehow turned the passenger tank into a 40 story building with the matter of tipping your drawing. That was quite incredible. Samaya Archer, most likely to design a theme park in the future for Disney or Universal. I think your sketching skills are incredible and sort of the whimsy that you bring to your work. And I would just encourage you to keep it up. Daniel Anthony, most likely to design Batman's new hideout and penthouse. While talking about sort of room scale, you um, showed me your building and it ended up being probably like 100 or 200 stories tall, plunging into the sky. And your collage work and sort of the, um, like the feel of your work is quite incredible. So keep it up. Ethan Tabasson, most likely to end up in a music studio, not architecture studio. So as the first student that guessed the country and decade, and gather town, I would encourage you to keep up your disc jockey skills and maybe pursue a side hobby within the music. Thank you very much for all your personalities that you brought every day. I grew to really appreciate having you um, in my class, in my camp, I should say, at the campfire. I think you all have a promising career in architecture, and I truthfully mean that. Thank you, Ray. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Ray. All right, um, I'm going to pass it off to Tori, I believe. Great, yes. Thank you, Ray. OK, so I will share my screen. Um, I have this in PowerPoint. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to do full screen. I won't be able to see you all. But um, we're going to start with Brianna. Um, I want to present the award for most inspirational. 
um, because I think with our studio team, the Bacon Stick Figure Arquettes, you were always such a positive energy and you were always willing to kind of work outside of the box, try new things. I really loved your um, stapler uh, office section that you did. I think it was really great, um, beautiful work. And I also loved um, your your answers to like every day we had a check-in question. And one of my favorites was, uh, what? how would you change the world? And your answer was, <laughs> change all the cars to Teslas um, and reduce pollution. So um, really appreciate your, your thinking outside the box. So definitely most inspirational goes to you. Um, next, we have Adam, who is, <laughs> the practical idealist and king of puns. So Adam, I think every day had like at least like one or two puns in the chat ready for us. Um, and he also kept us on track. Um, I think we would go on tangents and he'd be like, okay, it's time for us to do this. Um, so I really appreciated his kind of like practicality um, with time management. Also his interest in kind of traditional materials, traditional uh, industrial, style with uh, green steel and brick. So basically Lambeau Field, which we, we had a lot of conversations about um, during our session. So really appreciated you, Adam, in our studio sessions. Um, next is Sadika. Um, so he's the studio hype man um, and Rhino model master. So he was the person to always keep the conversation flowing. Um, always like had great things to talk about, whether it was him sharing his love of baking um, to all, sharing all the work that he, all the models that he's made even outside of um, studio to even just talking about TV shows and things like that. Um, he was always ready to, to have conversation and kind of get everyone excited. Um, always first to volunteer to share studio work, which I really appreciate. Um, definitely a go-getter and a natural architectural aficionado, I would say, with his rhino skills. So thank you, Sad uh, Sadika, for, for being in the studio. It's great. Um, next, we'll go to Paige. Uh, Paige, you are the animal architect and climate crusader. I think you really are passionate about animals and critters and finding ways to kind of live alongside nature. Um, and create space um, for for critters, which I definitely that resonates with me, and I really like appreciated your attention to to the natural world as well as um, your interest in climate justice, environmental justice. Um, I thought that was really great, and I'm really excited to see all of your trajectories um, in the future. But really appreciated your energy and your your thoughts every session. Javon. Javon is getting the award for the best Pictionary skills and clean drawing aesthetics. Um, Javon, every time we would play Pictionary, he just had the he was had the best drawing skills. They were so easy, so clear. He just would get really hard words. Um, so every time we wouldn't be able to guess, we like when we found out the word, we would just like, be like, oh my god, like he drew it so perfectly. Um, and I think that translated into his sections and his plans. Um, so I really appreciated that and his, his creativity as well. Um, for the final building design, he created a um, cat cafe slash um, kind of water wheel, uh, clean energy model. So really great. I loved kind of seeing that and seeing how that progresses. So thank you, Javon, for all your hard work in the studio. Um, Galshot, she's really great, um, has gone above and beyond every day, coming with so many sketches. Um, I think almost went to a workshop every night, maybe, um, and always had new things to share. Is so knowledgeable. We She told us so much about Japan, um, to even like giving us grocery stores that we can check out <laughs> around um, either like Novi um, places around the city. So I really appreciate Galshad is always full of information. Um, she's also super dedicated to mastering architectural drafting and modeling. And I have no doubt that she is going to um, be an amazing designer. She already is. So um, really great to have you Galshad and great, great time spent. 
Um, Anaya, you are getting the award for the reliable go-to rhino and rhino genius. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with Anaya in ARC prep, and I already knew that she's very creative um, and very um, much dedicated to, to kind of teaching herself um, rhino, but she went above and beyond um, in, in these two weeks. And I think she's she, she made me proud. I think everyone loved seeing her work. Um, she was always in Rhino. She was always sketching, um, happy to pitch in, loved Pictionary, was always the first person <laughs> to, to volunteer to play Pictionary. Um, so I really just appreciated her energy. And yeah, I would definitely say she's a Rhino pro now. Um, so she can start giving tutorials um, <laughs> and making some extra money. So really great to have you, Anaya, and, and look forward to, to see your, your future tra trajectory. Um, and then last but not least, Elise. Elise gets the award for positive vibes and also the perfect precedent finder. Um, Elise, your uh, precedent imagery was on point, perfect. Um, would always come with beautiful images, with greenery, um, nice natural wood. Uh, I feel like you just have an eye for interiors, but also like exterior material um, and texture. For, for designing, really great. Um, your energy is also really welcomed. Telling us uh, stories about Torch Lake, showing us pictures. Um, we all wanna come visit you <laughs> in the near future. So uh, we really enjoyed having you as well. So um, that are those are all my awards. I will post these on the Miro board for my campers um, so everyone can have them. But again, I can't say enough how proud I am of all of you and um, keep in touch with, with each other, with us, um, with, with Taubman. So, so, so happy to, to have gotten to know all of you. So I will now pass it off to Victoria. Thank you, Tori. So for my team Raman Regiment, uh, I would like to present an award to Anissa. Anissa will be graduating with our Rate My Mind Award. Um, she's truly a Pictionary master. She managed to guess all the correct answers without us finishing the drawings. Very impressive. And Audrey. Audrey is graduating our start with our Question Master Award. Um, we had some difficulties on doing rhino or other exercises, but Audrey always asked really, really good questions and um, the difficulties never stopped her from learning. Caleb, Caleb is graduating with our Challenger Award. He managed to transform very unusual objects, for example, the tiny little uh, ketchup packs uh, into fully designed machines. The creativity is absolutely on point and impressive. Hetiksha. Hetiksha is graduating with our Rhino Explorer Award. She is the most excited uh, member of our group to learn about 3D modeling software. And she kept coming in with new skills and is really willing to share with the rest of the members. Kai is graduating with our Chill Minimalist Award. Um, since the beginning, she got a lot of um, very minimalistic uh, precedent studies to share with the group, and she also always gets everything under control. Millie is graduating with our Sense of Humor Award. Um, I was really impressed by how she designed an underwater bunker that was inspired by SpongeBob. Soshana is our Eco Master. Um, so She's awarded this uh, since she designed a flying bunker that allows birds to coexist with human agencies. And last but not least, we have Teddy and he is graduating with our Chicago Art Deco Award. Um, he's from the region and he had shown us multiple uh, present studies of the Art Deco skyscrapers in multiple locations. Um, so thank you for your sharing. And I just want to say that uh, Raman Regiment, thank you all for the amazing 10 days journey and absolute good luck to your future adventures and please keep in touch. So now I'm passing it back to Kristen. I will actually let Tori come up and then Ray real quick. 
Great. Okay, Thanks, Victoria. Kristen. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I wanted to share a, one last award, um, and Sahana is going to get some extra time um, since I'm going to share this really quick. Um, Sahana, somehow your award did not make, make it into the PowerPoint, but it was there. Um, you are, your award is Challenger of the Status Quo and Game Changer, which I think is huge um, because you ask the right questions, you work hard, and you have serious fun while doing it, which um, I've really appreciated. Um, I know that that you, you've you enjoyed our conversations. Uh, we've been able to talk a little bit about um, equity and architecture, um, diversity within the field, um, and I love the questions that you're asking. Please, and, and all of my um, kind of camper team, please keep asking the questions that you're asking. They're amazing. Um, I think that you all will change the profession in the best possible way. And Sahana, I definitely see um, that in you already. And I really appreciate that you, you're you asking why things are the way they are. And I love that, that you're looking to kind of go into the profession and go into academia and change things. And I can see that in your future. So um, I really appreciate our conversations and having you in, in our kind of studio team. So thank you, Sahana, um, for, for sharing in those conversations. And I will pass it to Ray. Thank you. I appreciate it. Where is... All right. Savannah, your was most likely to design the summer home of the Easter Bunny. So based on sort of you, like the empathy or love that you have for animals, I think like we had a lot of people in our studio that talked about it, but you were kind enough to bring your cat onto the call one day, but also you designed for the bunny and the rabbit within your final structure. And I think sort of as you begin to design and sort of like doing these sketches, not always just thinking of architecture as like inhabitant, but like for like humans, but as we talked about building the structures for your cat or for any sort of creature around, like design can happen on any scale. And that was sort of like what I thought was super awesome. And the Easter Bunny summer home ends up becoming its full-time home because you design it so well. So you're welcome. I felt bad. All right, Kristen, here you go. Thank you, Ray, and all of our studio instructors, um, again, for everything that you did throughout camp um, and for, you know, really giving your time to help all of these students learn more about architecture and about uh, what they can do with it in the future. Um, so I'm just going to share a few kind of final logistical notes um, to wrap us up. Um, so first of all, uh, you guys will all get another email from me. I hope you're looking forward to that. Um, and it will include surveys for both our campers and our parents guardians, just to get some feedback. Um, this is the first year we're doing this in a virtual format. So any feedback, good and bad and suggestions that you can offer, we are very open to hearing. Um, we may have some of the things already in mind, but it doesn't hurt to have you guys reinforce them for us. Um, we are also preparing completion certificates and letters of participation for you all to kind of keep in your portfolios and in your resumes. Um, so those will be mailed to you sometime next month. Um, if you have moved or are just expecting to be in another location in August where you would like that sent uh, that is different than the address that you have in your camp doc uh, registration or where I mailed your supplies, um, please just let me know. And um, you will maintain access to your UMICH accounts and therefore the Google Drive, Google Classroom, Creative Cloud um, through August 16th. And um, as always, we hope that you'll stay in touch with us. And so if you have questions for Christopher or about admissions or anything like that, feel free to email Taubman College Admissions at umich.edu. Um, or if you want to reach back out to me and Julia and Christopher, you can email us at that arcstart program at umich.edu email. Um, but with that, we just want to say our final thank yous to all of you as campers, to all of the parents, guardians, family members, and friends that have supported them, encouraged them to be part of this process. Um, we know it's not necessarily the most traditional way to spend your summer, um, but we are so excited that you chose to spend these last two weeks with us um, and that you have made the connections to each other, to our staff and to the college. Um, we are so excited to hear what you do after this, and um, I'm happy to open it up to Q&A if anyone has anything that they'd like to ask before we close out our call and our final session of ArcStart for 2021.
And if any campers want to say anything, you're more than welcome to. Nice to see you raising your hand. Sorry. Yeah, I just I wanted to say thank you so much to everybody um, and to Ray for um, being an amazing instructor and uh, and for all the uh, people at the uh, studios, all the instructors who led the studios. Thank you so much. And also to Julia, thank you for uh, providing a uh, insightful, uh, heavy architect uh, uh, present presence in the um, uh, in our in our Zoom room and your knowledge, and I appreciate that. And uh, and thank you, Kristen, uh, and thank you, everybody. So thank you so much. I really appreciated this experience. Thank you, Nate. Thank you all for making this possible for us. It was an amazing like two weeks and it was like the best two weeks of my summer to meet people, to be in a studio with Ray. He has an amazing imagination. And I just wanted to thank everyone for the workshops and Julia and Kristen and Christopher. Thank you for everything. Yeah, I just want to say thank you as well. Um, this is a really great program. And everyone that was here was like, it was like meant to be. And I don't know, everybody was just great. It was amazing. Yeah, it was definitely really fun meeting everyone from across the country, especially with being in the online format we're not used to um, meeting anyone for such a long time. But it was great to be able to connect with everyone and to be able to see and learn from each other and see what our future has to hold. So I'm excited to see what everyone does in the future. I wanted to say, <clears throat> it's great to know that there's so many other students that are also interested in architecture, like coming from a school that's like very much computer science and medical based. Like I didn't even know that there was such a community and like coming to this program really just showed me that and really opened my horizons for like where architecture goes and where it can lead to for me. So, and I really just want to thank all of the studio instructors. Um, I know this took a lot of time and I can't possibly imagine how much time it took um, with the evening workshops, the studio stuff. Um, so thank you studio instructors for that. And then also thank you, Julia and Kristen and everybody else that helped create this program. Um, it was very meaningful. Yeah, I wanted to say thank you too to everyone. I really appreciate everything you guys put into it. I mean, you worked so hard and you made so many things happen in virtual world even. So it's incredible that you guys were able to put that together and make an experience that's really helped at least me and I'm sure many people really solidify their idea of going into architecture. I'd also like to say I'm really impressed with everyone's work. Like I think we've accomplished some seriously impressive stuff. So um, I enjoyed seeing all your guys' work and everything that you worked on. And I also want to thank the staff for making this a good experience. I know it's usually in person, but it was it worked really well online. And I like the incorporation of like household objects and stuff like that to make it more accustomed to being at home. So thank you guys all. And I had a great time. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to all the instructors and everyone I met during this camp. And I enjoyed like every minute of it. So thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. I learned a lot these past two weeks and I met all these new people. So I had a lot of fun. Thanks. Thank you all. We know that a lot of you have been studying remotely um, for this past academic year and Zoom fatigue is real. Um, so we appreciate you all being willing to engage every single day. Um, I you know, was hopeful that you would want to be here every day and be here for the entire time every day and to know that you would have loved for us to offer even more hours of programming, although we want to set you up with healthy habits to like leave studio and give yourself a break. Um, in general, we could not have made this program what it was without all of you being willing to engage and bring your ideas and chat. Um, so thank you for showing up fully every day and being able to, you know, do the work, but also provide each other feedback and be, you know, really kind and awesome people. Um, it's gonna, it shows a lot about how far you're going to go in the future and we're excited to have been part of it.
Yes, I echo all that and also would just say stay in touch. Let us know what you're doing when you apply to college and beyond. Uh, time goes fast. So it seems like just yesterday that Charlie was here as a, as a camper and now she's an architecture student. So we'd love to have you guys stay in touch with your instructors, obviously with each other, but also with uh, me and Kristen. And enjoy the rest of the summer. With that, I think I'm gonna uh, close us out. So um, I see that you guys are all chatting over, getting on Discord and stuff. So I'll leave it up for a little bit longer, um, but everyone camp is dismissed. It's time to get on raised bus and travel home, even though you're all there, there already. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. It's so been much. awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a great rest of your summer. Bye. Bye. Uh, Bye, guys. Yeah, join the Discord. Uh, have a great summer, guys. Thank you for this opportunity. Hey, um, thank you very bye. much. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. All right, staff, if you can hang in around for a second. Um, uh, Ishan, you don't need to go. Oh, sorry. He's we did it. Congratulations, you guys. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I just wanted to mention, I want to buy the first round of drinks when we're all in the same area. So um, put a pin in that. And when, when we're at